Uh, we're going to another stab at this number 59 from our takeaway slides that I botched a little bit today. Uh, so let's take another look at it. I think I have an explanation that is pretty clear and concise for you. I should uh, clarify some things. So uh, an effective minimum wage policy in a competitive market will increase unemployment, first thing it does, and increase total earnings of labor only if the demand for labor is. So what this is saying is that it's, a, it's having an impact, right? It's actually going to be effective. We want our laborers to earn more money and an effective wage minimum is going to necessarily increase unemployment, right? So it's saying it's an effective minimum wage policy. This is only gonna happen in the event that demand for labor is relatively inelastic. The reason for that is because the demand is from the firms, right? The demand is from the firm. So the firms, if demand is elastic instead of inelastic, if it's elastic here, then when that wage goes up, firms are just going to say, you know what, we don't really need these laborers. They're too expensive. There's going to be a dramatic decrease in the amount of laborers that they demand. And as a result, the total earnings of labor are actually going to go down. Right? Fewer laborers are going to get those wages. All right? So that's the important bit right there, the total earnings of labor. All of these are going to cause an increase in unemployment. And so this is where we got, I, I should say, got hung up on this morning because these seem like uh, conflicting things, right? Increase unemployment and total earnings of labor. Uh, but the important part is this total earnings of labor. If those are increasing, then of course the firms are inelastic, meaning that they're gonna to continue to hire these people regardless. They're gonna hire fewer, but they're gonna to continue to hire them because they're insensitive to a change in price. Or in other words, it means that they actually need it. Okay, I hope that made a little bit more sense. It's inelastic because the firms still demand those laborers, even though they're more expensive. They need them in order to accomplish the work. And so the total earnings of labor are gonna go up because while the quantity supplied or demand it actually decreases a little bit, it doesn't decrease so much that the total earnings are a complete loss. Okay, let's move on.